inversion of states of matter. Matter around us exists in the solid, liquid and gaseous state. The state of matter changes from solid to liquid, liquid to gas or a combination of these. A solid changes its state to liquid by melting. Upon heating solids, the space between the particles increases and the particles move freely to form liquid. When a piece of butter is placed on a frying pan and heated, the piece of butter slowly loses its shape and changes to liquid. So what is melting or fusion? The process by which a substance changes from solid to liquid. The process by which a substance changes from solid to liquid is known as melting or fusion. Last year we studied melting and melting point. What is melting point? The fixed temperature at which a solid changes into a liquid at atmospheric pressure is called melting point. The fixed temperature at which a solid changes into liquid. Solid changes into liquid at atmospheric pressure. For example, melting point of ice is 0 degree Celsius. Melting point of ice is 0 degree Celsius. Ice is a solid material. This solid changes into liquid at atmospheric pressure. That temperature, that fixed temperature is called melting point. The temperature remains constant till whole of the solid changes into liquid. The temperature remains constant till whole of the solid changes into liquid. So what is melting point? The fixed temperature at which a solid changes into liquid at atmospheric pressure is called melting point. Similarly, a liquid changes its state to solid by solidification. Upon freezing liquids, the space between the particles decrease and they solidify. When some water is poured in an ice tray and kept in the freezer, the water solidifies and becomes ice. So dear children, what is freezing? The process by which a substance in a liquid state changes into solid state. That is called freezing or solidification. Solidification. Liquid state changes into solid state. Liquid state changes into solid state is called freezing or solidification. The temperature at which a liquid starts changing into its solid state is called its freezing point. The temperature at which a liquid starts changes into a solid state. That is called freezing point. That fixed temperature is called a freezing point. For example, pure water freezes at 0 degree Celsius under normal condition. Pure water freezes at 0 degree Celsius under normal condition. So what is freezing? The process by which a substance in a liquid state changes into a solid state. That fixed temperature is called freezing point. A liquid changes its state to gaseous form through vaporization. The space between particles increases when heated, thereby forming gas. When water is heated, vapor arises from its surface and so water in a liquid state is converted to a gaseous state, converted to gas before reaching its boiling point. Such a process is relatively known as evaporation. Let's define it. Evaporation is the process by which a liquid changes from its liquid state to gaseous state without being heated to its boiling point. Boiling point the fixed temperature at which a liquid starts changing into its gaseous state. What is that boiling point? The fixed temperature at which a liquid starts changing into gaseous state. The gas formed can be converted back to liquid. Now, close the beaker with the lid and continue heating. After some time, you will observe droplets of water accumulated on the surface of the lid. Such a process is called condensation. During condensation, 
vaporized particles are accumulated and form liquid. So dear children, what is condensation? The process by which a substance in gaseous state changes into its liquid state. What is condensation? Gaseous state changes into liquid state. Gaseous forms changes into liquid state is called condensation. And it is the temperature at which a gas starts changing into its liquid state. That is gas starts changing into its liquid state. That temperature is called condensation point. Condensation point. Solid be directly converted to gas and vice versa. When dry ice is kept at minus 78.5 degrees Celsius at one atmospheric pressure, dry ice is converted to gas. This process is called sublimation. And when the gas so formed is trapped, the gas is accumulated to form dry ice again. That shows that a solid can be directly converted to gas and vice versa. So what is sublimation? Sublimation is a process by which a certain substance, for example, camphor, ammonia chloride, iodine, naphthalene, this substance changes directly from solid to gaseous state. Directly changes from solid to gaseous state on heating and vice versa on cooling. That is after cooling we will get the original state. Okay, so that is called sublimation. Sublimation is a process by which a certain substance changes from solid to gaseous state. After cooling, this gaseous state returns back to its original solid state. That process is called sublimation. Example of sublime substances, camphor, ammonium chloride, iodine, naphthalene. So, what is melting? Solid is changed into liquid is called melting. What is evaporation? Liquid is changed into gaseous is called evaporation. After cooling, the gaseous compounds turned into liquid state. That process is called condensation. Okay, that liquids changes into solid state. That is called solidification. So, what is sublimation? Sublimation is the solid is directly changed into gaseous state. And after cooling, that is returned back to the solid state. Okay, clear?